Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Cho. I'm the Director for Women's Cardiovascular Center here at Cleveland Clinic, and I want to welcome you today to our podcast featuring women and heart disease. Even though the American Heart Association has had Go Red for Women's campaign for over a decade, we continue to struggle in terms of disease awareness for women. Um, the number one killer for women in America and across the developed world is still cardiovascular disease. But the great news is, is that 90% of heart disease can be prevented. And by controlling things like our blood pressure, our diabetes risk, our cholesterol, and not smoking, we can really reduce our heart disease risk. And so before we talk about the risk factors, I want to just talk about what are some of the symptoms of heart disease in women. Women and men have similar symptoms of heart disease. And when I say heart disease, I mean cardiovascular disease, and that is hardening of the arteries. Whether we're talking about arteries in our heart or arteries in our brain, atherosclerosis, which is hardening of uh, the arteries, is caused by things like high blood pressure, cholesterol, smoking, and diabetes. And the symptoms for atherosclerosis in the heart is chest pressure or chest tightness when we're exerting ourselves. So commonly people will say they don't have pain, but they have chest pressure or chest tightness when they're exerting themselves. Women have more atypical symptoms. So they, yes, they do have chest pain or chest tightness, but they also have other symptoms like shortness of breath when they walk, extreme fatigue. And so they'll say to me, oh, you know, yes, last year I could walk three blocks without a problem, and now I can barely walk a block without becoming extremely short of breath or being very fatigued. And that is an atypical symptom, but that is something we look for in women. Women also have other symptoms like nausea, or sometimes they will have jaw pain, or they have uh, tingling down their arm as the manifestation of cardiovascular disease. What's really important when we have these symptoms is not to become our own Google doctors, but to really seek um, help of your healthcare professionals. So when you're having these symptoms, it's important to talk to your doctors about these very important symptoms, and then try to work with your doctors on getting the right testing to rule out cardiovascular disease. There are some tests that are better for women, I think, than for, than, um, other testing to rule, to rule out cardiovascular disease. We prefer at the Cleveland Clinic to do a non-X-ray or non-radiologic testing for stress testing. And the reason is, is that for younger women, women in their middle ages, having so much radiation to the breast is not a good idea. So we tend to favor stress echocardiogram, which is a stress ultrasound. So we take an ultrasound of your heart before you exercise and then after and see if your heart's getting enough blood flow. And we prefer that testing over a nuclear testing which has much more radiation. There are some other testings out there that are good and, and that is cardiac CT. But cardiac CT is, you know, you have to be mindful that's different than uh, calcium score. Calcium score is also used um, to assess uh, atherosclerosis, but that's different than coronary CT. If you want to know more about these testing, you can go to our website and get more information about these testings. And then finally, I want to end with the good news about heart disease. The great news about heart disease is that it's preventable and that if you seek the right treatment, you can have a great quality of life and have longevity too. So again, it's important to lower your blood pressure risk by not having less sodium in our diet or less salt in our diet, getting our blood pressure and our cholesterol checked and keeping our weight under good control and not smoking. I wish you good health and we'll see you next time.